story of a clever man and a simple man. Winter of 5569 before Purim. That's 1809 before Purim. Rabbi Nachman of Breslov. A tale. Once there were two homeowners in a city. They had great wealth and large houses. The two homeowners had two sons. That is, each one of them had a son. And the two children learned together in the same schoolhouse. One of them was a chacham, was clever or smart, and the other was a tom, simple and innocent. Now, that he was a fool, not that he was a fool, rather, his intellect was simple, without sophistication. And the two sons loved each other very much, even though one was clever and the other one was a Tom, and his mind was very simple. They still loved each other very much. A time came, and the two homeowners began to decline from their wealth and kept declining and declining until they became entirely possessionless and became destitute and nothing more remained for them except their houses. And the sons began to grow up and the homeowners told the sons, we haven't wherewithal to pay for you. We cannot sustain you. Do for yourself what you can. The Tom, the simple one, went and learned shoemaking. The Chacham, the wise one, smart one, being a discerning person, didn't want to take up such a common trade. So he decided to he would travel the world and look and see what he should do. So he was going around in the marketplace and he saw a large wagon with four horses in a harness running. He called out to the merchants, where are you from? They answered him, from Warsaw. Where are you going? To Warsaw. He asked them, maybe you need a helper? The merchants saw that he is a smart youth and motivated, and they liked him, so they took him along. He traveled off with them and served them very finely on the road. When they arrived in Warsaw, since he was astute, he decided, since I'm already in Warsaw, why should I remain with these merchants? Maybe here is a better place than with them. Let me go search. And he walked around in the marketplace and began to inquire and ask regarding the men who had brought him and whether here there is a better place than with them. They answered him that these people who brought him there are honest people, and it's good to be with them. On account of this, it is very difficult to be with them, since their dealing and trading is in very distant places. Meanwhile, he went on, and he noticed shop servants, as they were going around the marketplace, and they were going around as they are accustomed to, with all their charm, with their caps and their pointy shoes and the rest of the charms which they have in their gait and attire. And he was an intelligent and astute youth and this scheme pleased him very much since it's an appealing enterprise and it's at home in place. He went to the band who had brought him and thanked them and told them that it is not good for him to be with them. And as for them having brought him there, for that he had served them on the road. And he went ahead and offered himself to a landowner. And the arrangement of the servant is that first one must be an underservant and do hard labor and receive low wages. Afterwards, one then gets to be an overservant. The landowner worked him hard and would send him off 
to nobility to carry merchandise in the manner of servants who must carry cloth upon their elbows. This work was very hard for him. Sometimes he needed to go up with the merchandise to upper floors, and this work was very hard for him. He decided, since he was a philosopher, a discerning person, why do I need this work? The essential is only for the ultimate purpose, so that I can get married and be able to support myself. So I don't need to that. I don't need to see to that yet. There will be time for that later. Meanwhile, I would rather be out in the world and see countries. He walked along in the marketplace and he saw merchants riding on a large wagon. He asked them, "Where are you going?" They answered, "To Lagorna." He asked them. Would you take me there? They answered him, yes. They took him there. From there, he traveled to Italy. And from Italy, he traveled further on to Spain.